Hello there guys, it's Maxo Diddly here and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework. And today we're here with Editing the Record. So Editing the Record is the third member of the threesome that is adding, deleting and editing records. And the Editing the Record is quite similar to Deleting the Record and we're going to quickly go through the theory of it. But before we do that, if you haven't watched how to delete a record, or how to search for a record, I strongly suggest you watch at least one of them as this code is quite similar to that and will use similar principles demonstrated in both of them. Let's get right into it. How does one edit a record? Well, we have two files. Well, we start with one file, records.txt. In this example, a record will have three fields, an, an ID, a name, and an age. Each is separated by a comma or a new line, as obviously 23 is not part of the same field or record as this ID 6767. So we have the data in one file, records.txt. And then the user comes and gives an input and says, OK, I want to edit record 4444 and I want to replace the values with 2222 two, two, two for the ID, Donald for the name, and 69 for the age. When the user hits a button, we're going to have code that will search records.txt. It's going to read each record. So it's going to read the first record. 1223, Bilton, and 23. Okay, 1223 is not equal to 4444. So we're going to write this to a new file. This could be called temp.txt for an example. We're going to read the next line. 6767, seven, Jerry and 56. 6767 seven isn't equal to 4444, four, 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 so we're going to put this in temp.txt. 4444, four, 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 duck and 34. 4444 four, four, four matches 4444. Four, four, four. So we found the record that the user wants to edit. So we basically write the file 2222. Two, 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 Donald and 69, as those are the new details the user wants to give to this record. You can decide what is edited and delete edited in this record. I just wanted to do everything to show you that you can edit everything if you want to. After that, we still have to continue searching through the file and writing everything else that's there using the same method as before. So why are we doing this? Well, I basically just explained to you how we edit records in files. We'll usually write every record that doesn't need to change. Then when we come to the record that we want to change, we instead write the new details that the user or the program specifies it wants to put into that record. And then we continue writing the rest after. Then one last thing we do, we, re we delete records.txt and then we rename temp.txt up to records.txt or whatever the file name was before to give the illusion that we have deleted a record. Now we got the theory out of the way, let's get into the code. If that didn't make sense, why not watch the delete record tutorial and that also has like a demonstration as well. So firstly, we got variables here, we got the file path, we got the ID of a record that the user wants to delete, and then we got three details for the new record. Obviously, if you, your records and your files are made of more fields, then add more variables. It's not hard to change. Before we start making our methods, we're quickly going to call it here. Edit record. Then we're going to do file path. Edit turn. New ID. New name. And new age. We're just pre-calling the method here, so we have to type it in later. So we want to do pub public static void void edit record and we want to pass in a value which we're going to call file path a string which is we're going to call edit turn a string which is going to be new id a string which is new name and a string which we will call new age. Just to clarify, this is a public static void method. It won't return a value, can be accessed within this class. We've called it edit record. 
We're, the first variable we pass into it will be the file path, and we're going to call this string file path. String edit term will be the second value we pass in. That will just be whatever the user's edit term is. String UID, string new name, and string new age will just be variables to store the new fields that the user wants to update the record with. By the way, these are different variables to these, but will just take the same values. These variables are completely different and are, own, and are local to this. So they're created when this method is called and deleted when this method is finished and can only be accessed within this method. Just to clarify that, if any past tutorials, you did not understand that. Now let's get into the code, which will look very, very similar to before. String temp file equals temp.txt. You can give this any name you want. I'm just going to call it temp.txt. We'll do file old file equals new file. If I can type stuff. File path. Then we want to do file new file equals new file temp file. Make sure we put a capital F for the word file there because that's our variable name. Now we need to right click on file and click fix imports to import the java.io.file library. Now we need to do string id equals nothing, st string name equals nothing, and st string age equals nothing. By the way, if you have more fields in your record, create a variable for each field of, a, of your record. If you have six rep fields in the record in your file, then make sure you have six variables. You can give them any name, but I advise they actually represent what they will be storing. Now we need to do a try and a catch, as we're going to do some cheeky file handling. So we want to do cheek. Why did I try and type cheeky but misspell it? I don't even know. Try catch and we'll do exception e. And I just made a dumb mistake. I, I actually can't type today. I actually forgot how to type. Oh my god, I'm actually so bad at this. Yes, I, I got it. It was like the third or fourth time, but I got there. In here, we want to do the good old file writer F. Uh, that should be a capital W, I just realized. FW equals new file writer temp file and true as we want to append records, not overwrite the file completely. Buffered writer bw equals new buff, bu, buffered writer. And then we want to put in fw in here. Then we want to do print writer p. I can't type. I forgot how to use the keyboard. pw equals new print writer. BW. And now we need to right click and fix all these imports. Like I will fix your imports. I might have just like misspelt that completely, but who cares? Now that we got our file handling object set up for writing to a file, we also need to get stuff to read from a file. So we want to do x equals new scanner new file. File path, semicolon on the end. We want to do x dot use delimiter, and we want to do speech marks, square brackets, and inside we want to do comma backslash n. And now, before we go on, you might be like, "Oh no, where's x coming from?" Above our main method, or it could, it could be anywhere in theory if you want. It, it, it doesn't really, well, it does matter, but there are many places you can do this. You want to do private static scanner x. It may not be static if your actual file handling method isn't static. Then you wouldn't put static before it. And if static gives you a red line, just try it without static. If you try it without static and it gives you a red squiggly line, just do the other. That's how you can tell if you, yeah. After that... We now want to do while 
X dot has next. Basically, you can do this loop reading the whole record of a file if there is anything left to read. One do ID equals X dot next. Wanna do name equals X dot next. Wanna do age equals X dot next. So what we've basically done here is read the whole record. Remember, make sure you have every variable in the correct order with an X dot next statement. So because obviously your records are not going to have just three fields in them. So now we want to do an if statement. We want to do if id dot equals and edit term. So basically, does the id here match the id here? Because if it does, as we discussed before, this is the record we want to delete. By the way, you can in theory have your edit term as anything and then have any field you want to identify it with like a name which probably is more convenient and this will work but make sure you match up the correct variables because yeah but that shouldn't be too hard so if this is the record we want to delete we want to do pw dot print ln new id plus comma because it's a csv file plus new name, plus comma, plus new age. So we're basically writing the new record to the file. So we want to do an else. And this is basically, basically saying, okay, the record read doesn't match the edit term, so it's not the record the user wants to edit. So we'll do pw.println and then you want to do ID plus comma plus name plus comma plus age. Uh, outside of the while statement, but still within the try catch, you want to do x dot close to close the file as we no longer using it. You want to do pw dot flush pw dot close for the same reasons as x dot close. Then you want to do old file dot delete. Then you want to do file dump equals new file file path. After that, you want to do new file dot rename to. And then you want to do dump. You want to uh, re. Okay, you want to make sure you spell name correctly. And also, yeah, make sure you spell rename to correctly. Ah, that was a lot. So what is this bit doing? We're closing the file, making sure the file has been updated with all the new write changes, closing the file, deleting the object of the old file, which will delete the actual file, because we want to rename temp.txt to whatever we called our original file, but we can't do that unless the file is gone, because you cannot have two files of the same name. That's not how it works. It's like having two houses of the same addresses, which probably exists in this world and causes confusion to the post office. Post office. Post, postman, or eh, maybe the post office, but the postman, because he's the one who has to actually deliver the stuff. Anyway, I digress. And here we're basically renaming the file, the, the, the temp.txt, to whatever the old file path name was. Given the illusion we managed to edit a record, when in theory, we literally just rewrote everything except for that one record we wanted to edit and instead of rewriting that record we rewrote we wrote the new fields we want in the new file that was worded horribly but i'm tired and in here we're just going to do like a system dot out dot print ln and error basically we're just going to tell the user that there is an error it, it, yeah you can do something fancy here i don't care so, with all that code done, this should be working. Let's just quickly check records.txt. There you go. Those are the records. 444, duck, and 34 should be gone and replaced with 2222, two, 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 Donald, and 69. So, we need to make sure we close this before we in try and interact with it with Java. Let's run it. 
We didn't get any error message, so this should have worked. Let's just quickly check it again. And look, we no longer see the previous record, which I actually have got the details of. Instead, we see 2222, Donald, and 69. So, that proves it works. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or requests for a future tutorial, to be sure to leave a comment. If you don't like leaving comments, you could probably just contact me through social media. Uh, they're in the description. Well, they probably will be. I would like to think that they're there. Um, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Java tutorials. I'll probably upload maybe once every three or four days or just whenever I feel like it, really. So yeah, thanks for being a great audience, and we will see you next time, and hopefully you'll get that A.